Friday breakfast at Magic 105.4 and tea for breakfast. Here's the noise. It's real. It's a box of Twining's tea. It is. Claudia Winkleman, God bless you for that. Thanks for having me. No, don't be silly. I'm doing stuff with them. It's like a marriage. It's a tea... It's tea heaven. <laughs> they got me involved because they were doing this extraordinary research which is about how women don't have enough time to take ten. They don't sit. They never just... You don't even have to have a cup of tea when you take ten. You just have to sit, have a think, have a lie down, right. watch a bit of telly, make a phone call. I just had my third baby. I don't have time to even stroke my eyebrow, which okay. is one of my favourite things to do. So Must I was be, like... you just done it now. I know. I suppose if I could have supplied you with a nice bed to lie down on while you were doing this... Ring a ding ding. <laughs> Hello, that would be a job done, wouldn't <laughs> oh it? Oh really? my god! Bring you a cup of tea. But by the way, take away your third child and someone else will look after it. Tilly's five. A nurse, oh right. Tilly's five. I, I mean, I want him, but not now. What's his name? Arthur. Okay. Um, we call him Artie, or we call him Hiccup, because that's all he does. And every time he's now four months, every time he hiccups, he looks shocked. Which is like, listen, love, <laughs> if you not, that's this so is. Funny. What's he, that noise? he goes, <laughs> <laughs> and his little eyes almost burst out of his head. <laughs> is he very stupid? I'm like, listen, love, you've done this. No, anyway. He's He's divine, but he doesn't let sleep. That's why you wear so much eyeliner, isn't it? Yeah, just to cover. <laughs> well, look, let's play a tune. Yes, let's. Have you got a favourite song? Oh, What's I your favourite pop song? Can You Feel the Love Tonight from The Lion King. Oh, should we do a bit of that? Shall we? Don't be alarmed if at one point I just stand up and pretend to be a gazelle. OK. I'm flat. I give that to God, you. I wish this was... I wish you could turn the cameras on now, <laughs> but OK, thanks. I, 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 I am... <laughs> This is what sleep deprivation tonight. What a lovely song. Isn't it? Now, talk to me a little bit about the Strictly Come Dancing, which last week, and it's funny, I was on a train to Manchester sort of laughing whereas Ola Jordan was sitting <gasps> next to me. Not the worst train trip of my life, no. got to be honest. Uh, charming as she was. And how chuffed was she that you guys had just beaten X Factor in the ratings for the yes. first time in a long time? But what you guys on Strictly have managed to do, better and better and better, yeah. is have fun. And particularly, Lens Lens is a brilliant feature, but it's properly funny. <laughs> is it? I love it. I mean, Russell Grant is properly funny any time. Full just, stop. Just have him... But somehow yeah. slow-moed. Yeah. Also, having those judges sitting up there, I don't know, I absolutely love it. And because I did it, it takes two for so long, I yeah. feel... We almost feel, don't be sick, like a family. Yeah. But we do, you know, I sit on Craig's lap and I do Bruno's hair and Len I would marry. I would literally go on holiday with her. I love and Alicia's the most beautiful woman on earth. Anyway, so we have a right old laugh. And also that's where they can explain on the results show. Yeah. You know, Holly and Artem I thought was so brilliant. I was like, why didn't you give them a ten? That makes no sense to me. Makes no sense. Yeah, when they raved as much as they did. Yeah. It's like, you know, follow through with a paddle, as it were. <laughs> well, who's going to win? I don't know. I can't t Well, Russell... <laughs> Do you know who I love? Anita. You know who else I love? Holly. Oh, how, oh are you going to be a And do you know who else I love? Going into Jason. politics, are we? <laughs> <laughs> what about Harry? No, I don't know. <gasps> Harry was going to win, of course. There you see, you've forgotten him, haven't you? Yeah. Give him a mention. Right, yeah. OK. Uh, what about Robbie? Oh, and Who's Robbie she... is divine. Can I ask you a question? On Wednesday morning, mm. I said, and I was shot down by my team, I said, have you guys ever watched Strictly Come Dancing and thought Robbie Savage should just be in the Bee Gees? Yes. He looks like he's one of the Bee Gees. Of course. And they went, are you... No. Hold on a minute, can I just confirm? Is he a Bee Gee? I think he I might believe he be. made Robbie Gibb. Yeah. He could be, really. Robbie Gibb. Just changed his name. Of course it is. Yeah, okay, Savage. It sounded, sounded better when it was playing yeah. a football player. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Well done. Thanks. Uncovered. Right, right. <laughs> magic breakfast, a little bit more from The Winkleman in just a tick.